All right, so you're a maker and you got SolidWorks for makers. Now you may be wondering, where's the SolidWorks? Just a couple steps, we'll get you installed and ready to start designing. You're gonna get an email that looks like this one and it says your platform is ready to use. The link to log in is right there where it says, get started here. Now you're gonna to wanna to bookmark that link and know where it is. That's how you log into the 3D Experience platform. If you already have a 3D Experience ID from something like a customer portal or the um, my.solidworks or the SolidWorks forums, you can use that to log in. If you don't have a 3D Experience ID at all, just create one here. When you log into the platform, you'll see the default dashboard. The first set of splash screens explain a few key areas of the platform interface. Once you see that the first time, you may want to check the box so it doesn't show every time you log in. The next tour explains the welcome app just a bit and points out a couple of videos you can watch. We'll dive deeper into the whole welcome app in the fourth video to get you comfortable in the platform. And again, if you've not bookmarked your link, do that now. First thing is of course to install SolidWorks. So a simple click on the install button and we'll follow the prompts. If this is your first platform app that you've installed, it's gonna ask you to download and then install the 3D Experience Launcher. It's simply the base application that's needed to start all of your installed apps. Once the launcher is installed, you can click continue to install SolidWorks Connected. Just a couple of clicks to accept the defaults usually and you'll be downloading and installing. Now, this is the same powerful best-in-class design tool used in industries from sprockets to rockets. This latest version, though, is connected to the 3D Experience platform, which opens up cloud data management and next-generation tools. Once it's complete, the button on the Welcome app changes to Open for an easy place to launch SolidWorks. That's all there is to installing SolidWorks for makers. I get it if you want to start into SolidWorks and be poking around a little bit. Maybe you can make one of those blocks with a hole in it. But look, we got more videos in the series though, and it's going to show you the basics of SolidWorks and the 3D Experience platform. And then we're going to get with Jason Poole and go through that typical project workflow in a real example. It's lots of fun, pretty cool, so enjoy.